You're tuned into We Found New Music. I'm joined by Sam Fisher What's from up? Sydney, now living in Los Angeles. Your sound, disarming pop for the nighttime crowd. Yep. How does that describe you and what you create? It's just kind of a, it describes my like entire like spirit and soul. And my, so I work with these two guys, Alex and Alex, and we were writing our first song back in July together. We've written like 35 songs together now. Uh, and it was just kind of, I know Alex Tierheimer goes, this is like disarming pop for like the nighttime crowd. And I was like, cool, that's it. That's it. That's my sound. That's my brand. And uh, how does it describe me? It's like, I feel like I'm a chill person and I feel like I can also like party really hard. There are two sides of me, but they come together and make this. There you go. Now it's in your bio. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Fisher. That's me. Yeah, go for it. But more specifically, mm -hmm. uh, who inspires you uh, sound-wise? Mm -hmm. you know, how would you, you know... Who inspires me sound-wise? Yeah. Um, I've, I've been super influenced by Ed Sheeran. Mm -hmm. um, and also, which is like the singer-songwriter gooey part of me, which really doesn't play much of a factor in my music, but more kind of like an Ed Sheeran mix with like D'Angelo, if you will. Which I think is like a hilarious humble brag, but but yeah, that's kind of what what's been given off. It's it's like a like a, a I guess like a pop soul vibe with electronic influences. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, you grew up in the northern suburbs of Sydney. What was what was that like for you? It was it was a fairly sheltered existence. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a in a suburb called Kalara. Um, and it was, it was great. You know, I, uh, it was kind of like a white picket fence neighborhood and I went to a private boys school for most of my life. Um, and I was like, you know, my, pa my two passions were music and tennis. So it was like, the bullies were like, how do we pick on this guy who is good at sport, which was like the politically correct thing to, to be good at. But he's also this like sensitive artistic guy mm -hmm. so like they they, they found a way each other out. they found a way <laughs> but like i feel like i i kind of evened it out as as best i could but yeah northern suburbs of sydney is an interesting place nice yeah. and then you made your way to the u.s mm -hmm. uh you started going to the berkeley school of music in boston yeah uh tell us a little bit about your time there and it's amazing it's a really just kind of inspiring place it's you know a music degree is a music degree wherever you go Mm -hmm. uh, but I just feel like Berkeley, the people that you get to meet is just so crazy. You know, you have some of the, just the most talented, amazing people that you'll ever come across in the music industry. And, uh, it changed my life. Of course it, it of completely course. changed my life. And, uh, all my friends and family thought I was completely crazy for leaving, leave, uh, jumping off the Island and, and going and pursuing this, but it's, uh, I'm standing here with you. So I feel like it's working out. And uh, you're here in L.A., so mm -hmm. speaking of that, I mean, what brought you from Boston to Los Angeles? Well, I graduated from Berkeley, which is the unpopular thing to do if you want to be a, a star. But I did. Uh, and the industry, I, I kind of feel the industry as far as writers and producers, um, it's, it's in L.A. Mm -hmm. And I moved out here because of a label. Um, I won't name that label. But I did, so I, I moved out here with kind of nothing, and it was definitely like a sink or swim situation, and I somehow have kept afloat, if you will, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so I guess just, just music and wanting to really go for it after Berkeley. And uh, how much time did it take before you became the backup singer for Holy Child? My bass. <laughs> uh, how much time did it take? It... It, how much time did that take? I guess I was in LA for four months before mm. I met, uh, I met Liz and Louie and it was my, my dude, Kenton Chen, who was already the background singer for them. He okay. sent me a text and he said, Hey, are you interested in auditioning for, for this band, Holy Child? And I'd heard of them, of course. And I was like, yeah, dude, of course. He goes, okay, cool. Here are four songs to learn. You have two hours. Come to the audition. And, uh, I, I stumbled through and, and yeah, they, those guys are amazing. I wouldn't be in the position that I am in right now without them. 
And you guys went on a national tour together. Yeah. So we did, we did the first, the first leg we did was South by, which is Mm -hmm. crazy. Uh, How many performances at South by? I think we did seven. Okay. We did seven in, in like four days, which was cool. Um, and then we went on tour with Passion Pit and we opened up for them, which was Huge. life-changing. It was <laughs> yeah. amazing. And then, yeah, they're, they're incredible. Wow, you just jumped right into a major tour. And I it, think that was like the peak yeah. of Holy Child at that time, too. They're, they're amazing. I yeah. mean, they, they, Liz and Louie are just so kind of, they're inspiring because they just know exactly what they want. They know exactly what they want. They have a clear message. Mm-hmm. They, you know, their music is, is so... I think different and and it's something that the music industry like I think they touch on it with with like Charlie XCX but they're afraid to like really like dive into it and like I think it's only a matter of time before they kind of just take over the world Mm -hmm. absolutely it's cool it's exciting so then you moved on from Holy Child Mm -hmm. and you started working on your own work I did uh first you were collaborating with a lot of really cool people yeah um, you know, well, <laughs> yeah. Tell me uh, about that. Yeah, so I we got off tour in in June 2015, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, like I loved being a background singer, but I couldn't get over the 20 feet from stardom kind of thing. Uh, and so I, I said I kind of hit the ground running. I was in the studio with a bunch of different people, with Dre Harris, mm-hmm. who's an, an incredible producer, um, and then I met Alex and Alex, who changed my life, and. Created band. the sound. Mm-hmm. They're, they're in my band, uh, and yeah. And then I I uh, have worked with a, a few a few kind of crazy people, and it's it's been amazing the last kind of eight months. Like Rihanna and, like, uh, yeah, Clean and Clean Bandit. There you go. <laughs> You'll be doing some cool stuff with Clean Bandit this year. It's yeah, you know, uh, they're amazing. They're incredible. They they sent over a song uh, for me to sing on, and and I, I did that, and kind of. 10 minutes after I sent it to them, Jack got on the phone and he was like, he calls, I pick up, it's like two in the morning here and, and, uh, it's like, hello. And he goes, hi, it's Jack from Clean Bandit. This is Sam. And I was like, get it. This is, this is, this is Sam while just like freaking out inside. Cause they're so amazing. They're yeah, incredible. They're, they're so influential. But yeah, I think that's I'm, how I'm going to, so. yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to be going over to the UK in, in hopefully May and, mm. and doing some work with them, but you know, Amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. Cool. Yeah. Well, obviously, this is very early on in the career of Sam Fisher. Uh, you, you've got a lot of music on the way. Yeah. You just You just showed us some tracks today, which, yeah. you know, are maybe by the time the videos are up, they're out. But uh, they're not out yet, and we're really they're excited. Yeah. What, no. what's, what's the game plan for you this year? The game plan is to release music. The mm-hmm. game plan is to release... I feel like I've been sitting on... on a, all these songs for the last two years and, mm-hmm. and finally we're getting to a point where we're so close to releasing and um, you know the first the first single is going to be Lean okay. uh, which which I just played and and uh, yeah so it's it's exciting I've you know in the last nine months alone I've written like 70 songs and and I get to pick four of them <laughs> four Amazing. or five of them for the for the first EP and then we'll take it from there but live shows releases and uh yeah traveling i'm excited cool Cool. what what sort of stuff are you writing about these days my lyrically my my stuff is is personal i i I don't know i find it hard to to write (laughs) anything that that isn't yeah at least influenced by the ongoings of my life Mm -hmm. so you know family stuff relationship stuff Mm -hmm. and then frustration Frustration with like society, and then frustration with the music industry, and and getting frustrated because the waiting game is the worst, and getting frustrated because free time is like my worst enemy. Right. Um, but yeah, you know, and then just like I don't know, lean is about is about waking up hungover with the person you want to wake up hungover with, and just spending the morning with them. That's Perfect. great. Now, real quick, you did a live show for us, mm-hmm. a live set for us today. Um, there was a girl singing in the group. Yeah, it was like a lady. Who was that? That is my lovely girlfriend, Erin Capigie, and she's right. incredible. She has a great voice. She does. And uh, she does. So, it's cool to see she's a part of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That song is called Reception, and it's about uh, we were long distance for the first year of me moving out here, and, and she was finishing school, mm-hmm. and 
uh, you know, long distance is tough. And that song came together really quickly because I was just like, I was frustrated. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she's here now, so <laughs> doesn't really, the song is for everyone else now because we got we got through it and we're super happy and cool. I'm super happy to have her in the Yeah, well the thank band. you again for joining us of today. Course. Thank you and, for having um, me. Sharing your story and what you're writing yeah, about. Uh, where can people find your music? <laughs> or will uh, where will they be able to find your music? Uh, well they can find it on, you know, Facebook and and SoundCloud. It'll all be Sam Fisher Music. Mm -hmm. Fisher F I S C H E R in the meantime, you got a lot of live footage In the footage meantime, <laughs> there's a lot of live stuff coming up. Yeah. I just released a cover with Creative Recreation, the shoe yep. company. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is some con content out there, but this year there'll be a ton coming out. So Cool. Then we'll, we'll be seeing you, know. you playing live around town, you know, yeah, playing some really week. cool shows. Yeah, We Found a Music yeah. Showcase, mm -hmm. some other cool stuff at the Ho Hotel Cafe coming up. Mm -hmm. Thank you again for joining me, man. Dude, thank you for having Sam me. Sam Fisher on We Found New Music. Thank you so much. <laughs>